Well, a good afternoon to you once again here on the SPU Sports live stream. Well, the temperatures are cold outside, but it's guaranteed to heat up when these two Pacific Northwest rivals collide here inside Royal Brom Pavilion in Seattle with the Western Washington Vikings in town to take on Seattle Pacific who are coming off a win on Thursday over Simon Fraser that was a 83 to 63 win for the Falcons. This is two teams right in the thick of the Great Northwest Athletic Conference standings who are looking to go in a positive direction. Western Washington coming in 2-2 two and two in conference, 10-5 and five overall, and the Falcons 2-3, and 9-9 nine and nine overall. As the starting lineups are introduced, let's set the floor for you. Uh, for Western Washington at guard, Kai Johnson, number one, starts, as well as number 13, Jonathan Ned, and number 20, Seattle product, Nick Welp, went to Seattle Prep just up the road. Number 23, B.J. Cully starts, a 6'9 sophomore from Everett, and then at guard, Will Wilson from Lorton, Virginia, number 44. For the Falcons, starting number one at guard, Owen Moriarty, another Seattle product here. Jaden Penegar joins him at guard, number three, as well as Maui Z as the three-headed monster in the backcourt for the Falcons. The big man for SPU, number 14, Trace Evans. And, of course, Shaw Anderson, leading scorer for SPU. They'll look to get him going and build on his 20.8 points per game. We are about set for tip-off here for the first half. It's Falcons, it's Vikings, and it's live right here on SPU Sports on YouTube. For the tip, BJ Colley and Shaw Anderson... And the Falcons will win it with Z. Maui Z brings it up. Turns and finds Moriarty. Now Anderson. They swing to Pentagar. Pentagar down low. Moriarty defended by Welp. Pentagar, Moriarty again. Down low. Evans, little hook, no. Rebound to Western. And they will go the other way on their first offensive possession. Kai Johnson. Welp. Johnson again, surveying the floor and finds Wilson, all the way corner and now down low to Welp who is fouled on the way up and he will head to the free throw line for a pair. Owen Moriarty whistled for the foul. That's of course his first. Nick Welp at the line. Again, a 6'9 forward from Seattle. Seattle prep by way of Golden State prep. Well, missed the first. Second opportunity at the line. And he misses that one as well. Clangs off front iron. And Z goes the other way. And he will set the offense for SPU. Z to Moriarty. They swing all the way to Pentagon. Z again, 15 on the shot clock. Maui looks up and kicks to Moriarty. Defended by Wilson, he will drive. Owen oh, Moriarty all the way to the cup and he lays it in. SPU draws first blood. Owen oh, Moriarty driving all the way to the rack for two. Wilson now elbow. Here's Johnson. Inside and... Anderson affected that as Cauley went up. Falcons go the other way. Here's Z. Pentagar. Fakes and drives down low. Evans! Up and under. Lays it in. Trace Evans. First points of the afternoon for the Australian big man. They go down low. Cauley. Back out to Johnson, 15 on the shot clock. Johnson drives on Moriarty. He will go up and it rims out back iron, rebound Pentagar. 
Pentagar the other way. Johnson went for the steal, and he will poke it out of bounds. Falcon ball on the side. So Falcons with an early lead. 4-0 SPU, SPU over the Vikings. Z finds Evans. Z drives baseline down low. Trace Evans. He is blocked by Welp. Gets his own rebound. Evans looking to go up. Pumps once, pumps twice, and he travels. And it'll be Viking basketball going the other way. Johnson setting the offense across the timeline for Western Washington. Here is Will Wilson. Down low to Colley against Evans. He backs it out to Welp. Colley again. Drives on Evans. Colley spins and he stepped out of light of a sizable SPU crowd here for this early evening tip-off inside Royal Brom Pavilion. The cold has not kept the Falcon faithful out of the gym this afternoon. Pentagar for three. Front iron off. Rebounded by Welp, and he will go the other way with Wilson. He lobs it inside, and disrupted there by Moriarty. Pentagar tried to throw it off a of Collie. It stayed in, and it does fall to Z, who pushes the pace. Moriarty, and he is called for the carry. So it'll go the other way with Western. Welp will inbound to Johnson. 16.45 to go on the game clock. Early 4-0 lead for Seattle Pacific. Colley. Short corner pull up and he drops in the Vikings first points of the afternoon. Z bringing it up across the logo. Maui finds... Moriarty, Anderson, and now Pentagar. Here's Evans. Z. Back to the corner. Shaw Anderson. Up fake drives, now pulls back out. And he will put up a three. Back iron rims around and doesn't fall. Rebounded by Wilson. Johnson now. Ty Johnson goes to work and then backs out to Welp. Back in the corner, Johnson with Shaw Anderson on him. Here comes the pick. And he traveled Johnson before he could kick out to Jonathan Ned. As we go to the first media timeout, 15.46 to go in the first half. Seattle Pacific on top of Western Washington early. 4-2. Back inside Royal Brom Pavilion here on the campus of Seattle Pacific University. I'm Sam Paul Barrett alongside you on a chilly Seattle afternoon. Falcons leading 4-2. 15.43 to go in the first half. Z against Johnson. Finds Evans. Now he goes to Pentagar. Pentagar will drive to the baseline. Pentagar, one pump, two pump, goes up and drops it in. First buck of the afternoon for Jaden Pentagar, and he extends the lead to 6-2. Wilson 
Wilson drives baseline, up and under, kicks it all the way out to Ned for three. That one's off. Rebound will stay with Western. As Seattle Pacific Merch makes their first changes of the afternoon with Kyle Luton in, as well as Jonas Latour checking in. And then Nikia Schonerstedt makes an appearance as well. Pull up J for two from Will Wilson. Is good for Western. Z, Luton in, the Washington transfer. Anderson, Lutonen, catches, rips. Now will back out and find Schonerstedt. Nikias finds Maui Z. Z, dribble drive. Now pull up at the free throw line is good. Maui Z, his first points of the afternoon. Took on Wilson, and then the pull up for two. Finds Twine. Rebound, Schonerstedt off the Viking miss. Z will slow it down. He's across the timeline. Maui lobs it into Schonerstedt down low. He will kick it out. Luton and looked at it. Now pulls back out. Dribble drive. Kyle Luton and lays it in. And it's a 10-4 advantage for Seattle Pacific. Kyle Luton and finding the net for the first time this afternoon. Floater is no good from Western. Put back bucket with the hook from Nick Welp. Drops for the Vikings. Isaac Morrow is also in for Western Washington. Luton in. Back to Maui Z. Maui to the corner. Pump fake Anderson. He will drive on Welp. Anderson still going and he is fouled. Nick Welp picks up his first of the afternoon. And now Shaw Anderson, the Kelso Washington product, heads the line and he will sink his first. And now Shaw Anderson, the leading scorer for Seattle Pacific, is on the board for the first time today. Anderson. Second shot is good. Two for two at the line for Shaw. 12-6 is the SPU lead. Tijon Sane. Wilson. Floater. Rims out. No. Rebound. Luton in. Z now slows it down. Z out to Schonerstedt, Latour. Schonerstedt steps out for a three, rims out. No good, rebound Vikings. Tijon Sane found Wilson, and then he bounces it down low to Morrow, who puts it down with the slam. Lutonen. Guarded by Johnson to Latour. Turnaround jumper in and out. Here comes Western. Four point lead for Seattle Pacific. Morrow backing down Anderson. And he goes up and under. No good. Z advancing the ball. Maui across the timeline. Schonerstedt comes up, and Nikias will get it back, and he will fire for three and connect on the triple. Three-pointer from the elbow by number 33. Nikias Schonerstedt, the big man, showing some touch from outside. Corner Welp. Backing in, Nick Welp turns and kicks it back out to Sane. Three-pointer on the way. Wilson, no good. Rebound, Kai Johnson. Tijon Sane 
Pass inside to Wilson, who tried to get it down low for Morrow, who goes up and misses it. Jonas Latour whistled for the foul after the fact, and it's going to be a timeout here with 11.22 to go. Falcons leading 15-8 over their I-5 rivals from Bellingham, Western Washington University. We will be back here for the rest of the first half. We're back inside Royal Brom Pavilion with the Seattle Pacific University Falcons leading the Western Washington Vikings 15-8. Good crowd on hand here on this Saturday afternoon in Seattle. As now Colley goes to work on Evans and he will lay it up and in and gets the harm. So B.J. Colley will head to the line for a chance to complete the three-point play, and Trace Evans whistled for his first foul. Colley connects. Falcons go to work, and it's Theo McMillan bringing it up. He's checked in for the first time this ballgame. McMillan out of Camas, Washington. Lutonen. Down low to Evans. Post moves Trace Evans. Hooks it up. No good. Back iron. Rebound by Western. Johnson drives inside. Free throw. One-hander is short, but he's fouled on the way up. And it'll be Evans again with his second foul in quick succession. That's team foul number four for Seattle Pacific. So the point guard Kyle John Kai, excuse me, Kai Johnson to the line. He's a 6'4 junior out of Olympia, Washington, and Olympia High School. These two in-state rivals with plenty of in-state representation across their lineup. As he sinks it. Two-point game. SPU leading 15-13. McMillan brings it up. Kicks Evans. Now Lutonen. Down low bounce pass Evans. Backing down Wilson. And Evans will hook it up and in over Will Wilson. Quickly the other way, Western. Now Colley backing down Trace Evans. He finds Wilson who goes up and wanted a foul. And he does get it a bit late. And Jaden Penegar got Will Wilson as he went up. And Wilson will head to the free throw line. First free throw, front iron gets the roll. Will Wilson, again out of Lorton, Virginia, by way of Mount Hood Community College. Owen Moriarty and Shaw Anderson return for the Falcons. Second one is good as well, and we're back to a two-point lead for SPU. Maui Z bringing it up the floor. Penegar. 
Panagar defended by Louis Grant Holiday. Halliday, excuse me. Backs him down and loses the dribble, but gets it back. 13 on the shot clock, 12. Penagar goes back to work, and he pulls up, but is fouled on the ground. Louis Grant Halliday reached in as Penagar went to work down low. Falcons underneath. Anderson gets it. Moriarty spins, gets it from Anderson. Penagar rotates Schonerstadt. Maui Z now. Z guarded by Colley. Finds the corner for Shaw Anderson. Fake now. The jumper goes up, no good. And it's rebounded here by Wilson, who kicks out to Sane. They go quick all the way down the floor here. Colley. Now Colley backs down his defender. Back out to Tijan Sane. Sane in the corner to Grant Halliday. Collie. Collie back out to Sane. All the way to Louis Grant Halliday for three. That is no good. Rebound by Morrow. Deep three from Sane is rebounded by Owen Moriarty, who will push the tempo. And now he pulls it back. Moriarty at the elbow finds Z to set up the offense. Maui Z down low, Schonerstedt. Z in the corner. Cross court pass, Moriarty fakes, now drives baseline, Moriarty underneath. Schonerstedt one pump, and he goes up and finishes! Great cross court pass to find Moriarty, who drives and is able to slip it down low to Nikias Schonerstedt, the 6'9 Austrian. As Morrow goes in and is fouled. And he will head to the free throw line. So Isaac Morrow, out of Lakewood, Washington, the Curtis product, by way of Concordia University, Portland, at the free throw line as Kai Johnson returns for Western. Front iron, no, can't complete the three-point play. 19-17 lead for Seattle Pacific. Z to Penegar. Jaden Penegar drives in on Morrow. Penegar to the rack, and he is fouled. That's team foul number three for Western Washington, and the first on Isaac Morrow. Penegar connects on his first free throw. Jaden Penegar in 18 games this season, averaging a healthy 9.1 points per game. Kai Johnson, 21-17 lead for Seattle Pacific. Johnson in the corner. Out top to Morrow, who will pull up for three, and he cans it. Isaac Morrow pulls Western Washington within one. Z across the timeline at the logo. Anderson back to Z. Z defended by Tijan Sane. Z drives now, pulls out Moriarty. Penegar. Penegar will drive and pull back free throw jumper. Yes. Jaden Penegar finds Twine, backs up on his defender and hits. And Western trying to go the other way quick and is called for the travel as we head into a timeout. The Falcons leading 23 to 20. 726 to go in the first half. We'll step aside.
Back inside Royal Brom Pavilion as the Falcons inbound here on their own baseline with a three-point lead. Western picking up just a little bit of a press. Z brings it up. And Sane will get called for the reach. And he can't believe it. Tijon Sane's first foul of the ball game. Four team fouls for Western Washington. Maui Z finds Anderson shimmy shake. Anderson drives in and now pulls it back out to Z. Back to Anderson. Backing down Morrow. 24 on 24. Anderson pull up front iron no. Rebound by Morrow. Here comes Johnson for Western Washington. Kai Johnson short corner kicks it to Morrow. Out for Sane. Johnson again drives on Moriarty. Spins and he is doubled and Moriarty will steal it. Moriarty wants the foul, doesn't get it as he drives. All the way out, kicks back to Maui Z, fakes, now back to Moriarty. Three at the elbow on the way, got it! And he's fired up as the Falcons take a 26-20 lead. Owen Moriarty drills it from outside. Tijon Sane setting up the offense for Western Washington. Dribbles now pull up to Colley. All the way across to Grant Halliday, who drives baseline and drops it in. Louis Grant Halliday, the redshirt freshman from London, England, by way of locally Eastside Catholic and Seattle University. Schoner step with Morrow all over him. Kicks it out to Moriarty logo. He'll reset. 12 on the shot clock. Moriarty drives on Morrow, who got a hand on it, but Moriarty gets it back, turns, pull up, and hits! Owen oh, Moriarty did well to keep his dribble. Spun around and a hit from the top of the key. Western now with Johnson. Sane, Johnson again, Moriarty on him. Back to Tijon Sane. Corner for Louis Grant Halliday. His three is off back iron. Rebound Pentagar. And Maui Z will set up the offense for Seattle Pacific. Falcons lead 28-22. to 22, 5.07 on the clock. Pick comes from Schonerstedt. Schonerstedt gets it, then hands it back off. Z pull up with a man in his face. Front iron, no. Rebound by Morrow. Here comes Johnson for Western. Johnson pull up short corner, and he is fouled on the way up. The basket goes as well. So Kai Johnson is going to head to the line with a free throw and a chance to complete a three-point play for the Vikings. Owen Moriarty didn't like that call. It's his second foul and the seventh on Seattle Pacific. Kai Johnson at the line, and he completes the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Maui Z now will cross the logo. Z bounce pass Moriarty, finds Anderson. Now Pentagar, down low to Moriarty, what a pass. Moriarty goes up underneath and is fouled by Johnson, and he will head to the free throw line. What a pass there. Down low to find Moriarty. Who wiggled his way down underneath and tried to lay it in. And was hacked as he went up. Falcons leading. 28-25. Moriarty at the free throw line. Sinks his first attempt. 4.37 to go in the first half. Moriarty now. Goes two for two. And that will bring Kyle Lutonen back in for Seattle Pacific. The Roosevelt High School product spent quite a few years over at the University of Washington before transferring to Seattle Pacific this season. Western swings it all the way to the corner. It's a three for Jonathan Ned, who connects. 
timeout. As Western Washington narrows this lead to a 30 to 28 two point advantage for Seattle Pacific. We'll take a timeout with them and be right back here on the SPU Sports live stream on YouTube. Back here at Royal Brom Pavilion on the campus of Seattle Pacific University with the Falcons leading 30 to 28, 411 ticks on the clock in the first half as Maui Z takes it up against Sane. Z trapped and he will find Schonerstedt down low, back out to Maui. Z to Anderson, hand off Maui Z again. 11 on the shot clock. Z. Pulls back out to the top of the key. 5-4-3 on the shot clock. And Luton and lost the handle. And here comes Kai Johnson. Now Sane to Johnson. Pull up two. Rattles out. No. Pentagar got the rebound, but he lost it to Johnson. Tijon Sane setting it up for the Vikings. Sane against Pentagar. Pulls back out for Wilson, who lost the handle and is able to track it down before committing the over and back. Blocked by Luton and on the way up. Low shot clock. Hook from Welp finds its way in as the shot clock was winding down. And it's tied up for the first time tonight. 30-30. to 30. Shaw Anderson now. He's going to back down Welp. Goes baseline and he will put it up. It rims out, but he's fouled. Shaw Anderson to the line, leading scorer this season for the Falcons. He also is the leading free throw attempter and free throw shooter. He gets to the line quite a lot. He averages 5.2 attempts per, per game, and he averages 4.7 makes per game. He's 85 for 94 on this season. And he will knock that one down to give the Falcons a one-point lead. As Darius Gary checks in for Western Washington. A senior out of Willingboro, New Jersey. Via Portland Community College. Johnson. Now Collie. Collie. Going at Schonerstedt, and Schonerstedt will get called for the foul. B.J. Colley back to the line, the 6'9 sophomore from Everett. Mariner High School product. And I see quite a bit of Mariner High School, what looks like maybe current players in the building tonight, supporting... their alumni. And he will sink the first. All tied up at 31 here in this Pacific Northwest rivalry matchup. Our second of the afternoon as the SPU women took on St. Martin's earlier this 
earlier today here at Royal Brom. Z as Colley made the second, and Western Washington leads for the first time today. Anderson, looting it. He will pull up with a man in his face for three. Rims out, no. Rebound, Johnson. Johnson across the timeline, behind the back against Z. Bounce pass to Colley, who will take on Schonerstedt, and Schonerstedt disrupted it and got the steal. Falls to Anderson, and now back to Z to set up the offense for Seattle Pacific. 2.15 left to go in the first half. And Maui Z will call a timeout with 2.12 on the clock. We'll take a quick break. Western Washington leading Seattle Pacific 32-31 to here in Seattle. So Seattle Pacific looking for their second straight home win after an 83-63 margin against Simon Fraser on Thursday. Before that, they took a trip to Northwest Nazarene and Central Washington, losing both of those games. Northwest Nazarene, of course, in second place in the conference. Falcons and Western Washington sitting right in the middle. Western in a tie for fourth place at two and two in conference play and Seattle Pacific tied with Central Washington at two and three in a great Northwest Athletic Conference action. Falcons underneath here. They do get it into Anderson who is fouled on the way up and he will head back to the free throw line. Just three points for Shy Anderson. Hasn't really been able to get it going this afternoon as of yet. But we talked a little bit about the SPU women and their leading scorer, Olivia Mayer, really, really started to show out in the second half. See if Shaw Anderson can follow suit. Second free throw drops through, so the Falcons regain the lead. 33-32. Two minutes to go in the first half. Johnson on the logo. Kicks to the corner. Here's Gary. Now Johnson again. Wilson. Down low. Colley. He finds Johnson cutting. And Johnson missed the lay. It was a tough look for Johnson through traffic. But it just rims out. Z gets the pick from Schonerstedt. Luton it. Z will drive. Bounce pass. Schonerstedt down low. Schonerstedt lays it up and in. Look at the no-looker from Maui Z to find the big Austrian. Three-pointer on the way and a response instantly. Will Wilson drills it from the corner for the Vikings. Tie game. 35-35. to 35. 105 to go in the first half. Z. He finds Anderson down low, and he goes up. Shaw Anderson rims out no. Rebound Luton, and he can't tip it back in. And it's going to go the way of the Vikings. As Kyle... And the Husky transfer commits his first foul of the afternoon. So in the bonus, Darius Gary is going to go to the line. Gary makes the first. So he'll get another chance. 53.9 to go in this first half. Darius Gary at the line for Western Washington. Sinks the second. They lead by two. Maui gets things going for Seattle Pacific. Z kicks to Lutonen. Handoff back to Maui. Z to Anderson. 
Contested three by Shaw Anderson is no good. Rebound back iron by the Vikings. Ned drives baseline. Collie is swatted by Lutonen. 24 on the shot clock as the Vikings will inbound down low. Kyle Lutonen in help with the swat. They get it inside to Collie. Corner three by Ned. No good. Rebound Wilson. Wilson backs down Penegar. He goes up. Lutonen swat again, but he got him this time. Will Wilson goes back to the line with an opportunity to extend this lead going into halftime for Western Washington. And he sinks the first to make it a three-point game. Our officials crew getting some help from Kyle Luton and BJ Colley to sort out a slippery spot. Will Wilson will sink the second on the rattle. 26.3, shot clock turned off. Maui will bring it up the floor. Falcons need a response here, down by four. 17, 16, 15 on the clock. And now they'll get in the offense, Schonerstedt. Schonerstedt handoff Pentagar. Pentagar fakes, goes up, finds Anderson who lays it in. Just how the Falcons would have drawn it up. Western kicks to the corner, Ned for three, and wouldn't have counted either way, but the Western Washington Vikings will head into the locker room with a 39-37 lead here against their I-5 rivals, the SPU Falcons. We will step aside for halftime. You're watching Falcon Basketball on the SPU Sports live stream. Halftime hoops here at Royal Brom Pavilion. We will leave it with public address announcer Mark Arcott to provide commentary.
back inside Royal Brom Pavilion. I'm Sam Paul Barrett here with you on the SPU Sports live stream. Well, if you are a basketball fan here and you've stayed for both games, the women and the men, you have been treated to a pair of back and forth barn burners. Falcon fans will be hoping this one turns out on the right side for their team as the Falcons trail 37 to 39 against Western Washington. In a battle to go the right direction in the middle of the GNAC standings. Western first possession. Kai Johnson turns, spins, and from the baseline can't hit. Foul on the ground will go against Trace Evans. They say he hooked him. And Evans will immediately pick up his third foul. And Coach Kefri Fazio doesn't love that call. Vikings inbound. Here's Wilson in the corner. Now to Kai Johnson. Johnson, corner, down low. They try to go to Welp, and Maui Z swoops in for the steal. Z, top of the key. Gets it to Pentagar, back to Z. Elbow three, Moriarty, no, off the front iron. Rebounded by Jonathan Ned, the University of Georgia transfer. Here's Colley driving to the bucket, and he will lay it in over Evans, who is careful not to pick up his fourth foul. Z across the timeline. Response needed from Seattle Pacific. Z at the elbow. Maui gets it to Anderson, who goes short corner against Ned. He will drive in and miss. Rebound tipped up, no. Rebound by Evans, who will kick it out to Maui Z, and he'll reset with 16 on the shot clock. Evans backs into Ned. Evans one pump. Now pu pulls it back out to Z. Floater is no good. Rebound by the Val the Vikings, excuse me, and Jonathan Ned. Johnson tried to go quick. He lost the handle. It's going to be Falcon ball. 18-27 on the clock. Falcons trailing by four. A quick bucket early on to extend a two-point lead for the Vikings. Now the Falcons trying to get on the board here in this second half. Moriarty got it handed off from Z. They swing all the way to Pentagar. Pentagar on the elbow, down low. Evans will face up and now back down on his defender. Evans goes up and lays it in, but the near side official says the foul came before the shot. And so the Vikings will get it down low, no basket. Nick Welp will pick up his third. And Z will inbound. And he bounce passes inside to Pentagar, who caught the Vikings defense asleep. And Jaden Pentagar gets the Vikings on the board for the first time in the second half. Wilson for the Vikings. Johnson drives on Z. Ned pull up three, front iron, rims out, no, rebound, will fall into the corner, and it's going to be Vikings ball. So the Falcons on the board for the first time in the second half, after the quick inbounds from Maui to Pentagar, Vikings coming the other way, looking to respond with a two-point lead. Johnson. Lobs it up top, short corner, Nick Welp backing down Anderson. Welp turns, tries to go under, no. Kicks it back out to Johnson, runner, and he will have it rim out and a foul whistled against the Vikings. Jonathan Ned picks up the personal foul. That's his first. Just the second... Team foul already on the Vikings in the second half. Anderson. Bounce pass, Evans. Evans faces up Welp, now turns, goes underneath. Trace Evans, the big Aussie, lays it in. Tie ball game. As Johnson brings it up for the Vikings. Bounce pass down low, Colley. He finds Welp who lays it in at the other end. Back and forth we go. 
43-41 is the Western Washington lead. Z finds Moriarty with Wilson guarding him. Anderson, Pentagar now at the elbow. And Evans got it, but dribbled off his foot. Anderson went to collect it on the ground, but they say he stepped out. And it's a turnover. As Western Washington will now go the other way with Johnson. Johnson across the timeline. He will hand it off. Wilson pull up Jay for three. Rattles around. No good. Rebound Evans. And now Z across the timeline. Z step back. Finds Moriarty. Moriarty spins in the lane. Kicks back out to Z for three. Maui connects from downtown to give Seattle Pacific the lead back. 44-43. Here goes Kali to the rack, and he will lay it in. As we go to a timeout with Western Washington leading 45 to 44. Falcons inbounding with Shaw Anderson, 15.42 on the clock. Western Washington leading Seattle Pacific, 45-44. to Pentagar, handoff back Z. Z drives at the GNAC logo, now finds Moriarty who goes underneath to Evans. Nice little move, Trace Evans gets it to fall. Excellent ball movement by the Falcons, and then great post moves underneath there from Trace Evans to give SPU the lead back. Collie now kicks out. Wilson looked at a three and now decides against it. He'll find Velp instead. Nick Velp goes up, and he misses the lay-in. Rebounded by the Falcons with Pentagar driving against Wilson now. He kicks it back. Maui Z. Z finds Evans. Backs down, Velp, Evans fakes, goes up once, front iron, no, rebound, Nick Velp. Johnson, at the logo. Johnson kicks, corner, drive, Wilson. Wilson turns around and shorts it, but he is going to get fouled. And now Jaden Pentagar whistled for his second foul as we go to a timeout with the Falcons on top, 46-45. We will step aside here for just a minute on the SPU Sports live stream.
Here at Royal Brum Pavilion, I'm Sam Paul Barrett with you on the SPU Sports live stream as it's Will Wilson for Western Washington at the free throw line out of the timeout. He will front iron, miss the first. Falcons leading 46-45 against their rivals from the north. Returning for Western, that's number 25, Louis Grant Holiday. Who went to Eastside Catholic here in the Seattle area and then Seattle University as well. Moriarty. Schonerstead at the top. Luton in now. Luton into Moriarty. Shimmy Moriarty spins, now kicks it outside to Schonerstedt. Nice pass to Luton in in the corner for three, rims out, no. Rebound, Schonerstedt bats it out to Moriarty, who kicks to Anderson off the left side. And here come Western on the rebound. Johnson driving on Luton in. He goes up and under off the top of the backboard out of bounds, and it's going to be Falcons ball. Moriarty now bringing it up for Seattle Pacific. Schonerstedt. Moriarty again. Guarded by Grant Halliday. Anderson's open in the, down low. He didn't see him. Instead he goes alone and he will lay it in. Gets the hoop and the harm. Owen oh, Moriarty drives in and draws the block. And he will head to the line to try and add a third. Kai Johnson commits his second, and he will take a seat now, as well as Jonathan Ned for Western Washington, as Tijon Sane returns, as well as B.J. Colley, who gets the rebound on the miss there. Falcons by two, 48-46. Here's Grant Halliday. Sane bounces corner Wilson. Wilson back out top to Sane. Guarded by Lutonen. Louis Grant Halliday kicks to the corner. It's Wilson. Rims out and doesn't fall. So here comes Moriarty now at the logo. Moriarty to Anderson. Hand off back to Owen Moriarty. Backs down Tijon Sane. Moriarty, spin, finds Luton in down low. How do you do? Owen oh, Moriarty spins and drops a nice little dime to Kyle Luton in for two. And the Falcons lead by four. 12.37 to go. Sane up top. Sane guarded by Latour. Vikings work it down low into Morrow. Sane deep three, and he connects with jo Jonas Latour right in his face. One point game again. Back and forth we go. Moriarty backs up against Sane. Moriarty spins baseline. Still Owen Moriarty, and Tijon Sane is going to get whistled for the foul. That's his second, and they get Jonathan Ned back in. The 6'9 senior from Brentwood, California. Moriarty inbounding with 20 on the shot clock. Owen finds Anderson. Anderson backing down Morrow, spins. Anderson goes up, kicks it out to Schonerstedt. Nice little pass to the corner for Moriarty. Bam! Owen oh, Moriarty drops it in from the corner for three. It's a four-point lead for Seattle Pacific. Sane setting it up for Western. Pumps and then finds Wilson. Now Colley. Nice pass down to Wilson who went up and was stripped. 
Schonerstedt gathers the rebound. Moriarty now brings it all the way up across the timeline. And he will set up the offense with 20 on the shot clock. And Morrow for the Vikings is going to get called off for the foul off the ball. As we head to a timeout here, it's Seattle Pacific 53, Western Washington 49 with 11.19 to go. We will be right back here on the SPU Sports live stream. Back with you inside Royal Brom Pavilion. Falcons up by four. Luton inbounds, and it's stolen by Ned. Bounce pass down to Sane, who will lay it in. No. And the putback was good by Ned. Check that no. I think they may have called the goaltend on Ned, who tried to slam in the rebound. But either way, it's Falcon Ball. And they go down low to Evans from Latour, who shorts it. And now the Vikings will go the other way. Sane at the logo. Z in his face. Tijon Sane drives all the way in, tries to get it down low, and it will stay with Western underneath. Vikings inbound it to Ned, who drives on Luton in. And he stepped out. So the Vikings go the other way. Just over 10 to go in the game. Z at the logo. Panagar back to Z. Evans comes up. Z shimmy now drives. Pulls it back out. Luton in catch and shoot. Kyle Luton in! Drains it! And the Falcons starting to feel it from outside. And a steal now by Penegar. Penegar goes the other way against Collie, And he can't lay it in. Evans gets the rebound. He puts it back up. And that one is good. Seattle Pacific extends their lead. It's 58-51. Just under 10 minutes to go. Same now for Western. Collie. Looks at a three. He will shoot it off the front. Iron, no. Rebound. And Maui Z is going to get called for the foul. He cleared out Morrow off the ball. So plenty of subs for Western Washington. Among them, Kai Johnson returning. And they will inbound to Velp. Morrow. Down low back to Velp. 
from Ned. He goes up against Anderson, and Nick Velp lays it in. And now Z the other way. Back and forth we go. Bounce pass down low. Trace Evans. Evans backing down Velp. Evans goes up. Little hook. And he connects. Trace Anderson is up to 12 points. And the Vi and it's the Falcons by 7. Tijon Sane from the corner. Hits a much needed triple for Western Washington. He wanted the foul too. Didn't get it. Four-point lead for Seattle Pacific. Z, hands off Pentagar. Latour backed up against Morrow. Lutonen looks at it, then pulls up for three! Got it! Kyle Lutonen is feeling it! Timeout, Western Washington! We'll take a timeout with them as the Falcons lead 63 to 56. 8.32 to go. We're back here on the campus of Seattle Pacific University where the hometown Falcons carry a 63-56 lead against the Vikings of Western Washington who have made the trek down from Bellingham. Sane now. Morrow. Hand off to Will Wilson. Back to Tijon Sane. Running the point for Western. Sane drives in, now kicks back out Morrow. And Luton in one of the steel didn't get it. Morrow tries to lay it in, and he's fouled on the way up. And that'll go against, I believe, Shaw Anderson. That's his second. So now Isaac Morrow, the senior at the line, and he will put that one in as Owen Moriarty returns for Seattle Pacific. Morrow's second free throw is good as well. So it's a five-point lead now for Seattle Pacific. Z taking it up against, against Sane. Bounce pass, Anderson at the top. Luton in. Now Z again, 13 on the shot clock. Trace comes up, Trace Evans comes up, excuse me, with the, with the screen, and it will go out of bounds on the pass, trying to get it down low to Evans. Did take a tip on the way through, so the Falcons will keep the ball underneath with just seven on the shot clock. Z will inbound. Finds Evans. Hand off Z. Z, step back three. Oh, yes! Maui gets it off the handoff, and it's a turnover by the Vikings. And all of a sudden, you can really feel the energy in this building starting to take effect. Maui Z hits the deep one, and we're going to a timeout. 66-58 is the SPU Falcons lead.
back here as the Falcons have extended their lead over the Western Washington Vikings with just 7.30 to go here in the half. Evans handoff Z. Z crossover finds Anderson down low. Shaw Anderson pumps once, goes up, can't get to drop, and Nick Velp comes down with the rebound. Wilson handoff to Sane. Sane to the corner. Johnson drives and he's fouled on the deck before he could go put down that dunk. So Kai Johnson will inbound it as the Vikings look for a response. It's been a back and forth showdown here. Johnson spins. Pretty little move by Kai Johnson to the rack. And he lays it in. It's a six-point lead now for SPU. As Z brings it up over the logo. Tries to get it to Ann, to Evans, excuse me. You can't quite hold on to it. And they get Velp for the foul. And that will bring number 23, B.J. Colley, back in. Moriarty got the inbound from Luton in with Johnson defending him. Moriarty goes baseline now, backs up, and will take it back out. Moriarty is blocked by Velp as he went up for the three. As Isaac Morrow returns for Western. Falcons will keep it on the side. Just nine to go on the shot clock. 6.35 on the game clock. Z bringing it in for the Falcons. Evans. Hand off again, Z. Z drives, pulls back out. Another step back three. Oh my goodness! He saw three on the shot clock. He thought three again from the corner. Maui loves that step back triple as Will Wilson answers right back. And we go back and forth again. 69-63. A Viking hits the deck. Whistle stays quiet. Z now. Maui pulls it back out. Luton in swings. Moriarty. Moriarty will drive now. He kicks it down low to Evans. And he finds Twine. Owen Moriarty gets inside. Dishes it down low to Trace Evans. For two. And Evans now up to 14. To match the number on his back. Johnson leans in now against Evans, and he lost it. They call the travel. And Johnson and the Western Washington coaching staff are not happy about that. As it looks like there was a little bit of a disparity between two of the officials with what they exactly called. And so, head coach Tony Dominguez takes a time out. We'll take it with him. 71-63 lead for Seattle Pacific.
525 left in this ball game. Sam Paul Barrett here with you on the SPU Sports live stream as the Western Washington Vikings trail the Seattle Pacific University Falcons and they will pick up just a little bit of a press here. Falcons get it across the timeline. Z now near the logo. Gets the screen from Evans, gets it back to Evans. Luton and down low, Trace Evans. Backs in, Evans, little baby hook, and he connects. Trace Evans up to 16 this evening. Tough drive by Will Wilson to answer right back for Western Washington. Z gets it across to Luton and Luton and kicks. Moriarty looked at a deep three and then decides to pull it back out for Maui Z. And he'll set up the offense with 12 on the shot clock. 10. 9 8. Here goes Z to the short corner. Pulls it back. Maui Z. Oh my goodness! Booyah! Maui Z with his third step back triple of the evening. And he's up to 14 points. And more importantly, the Falcons lead is double digits, 76-65, as they block that one, and it's going to be Vikings ball underneath. Here goes Kali up, and he missed the lay-in. So now Z the other way, 651. Excuse me, 351 on the game clock. Now more like 345. Anderson with Collie. Fakes once, goes in, tries to kick it out, and it's stolen by Ned. He goes the other way to Wilson. Wilson caught in the corner, and they will call the foul against Z. As we go to another timeout, we'll leave the camera here as the Falcons lead 76 to 65. Back here inside Royal Brown Pavilion, the Falcons lead by 11 over their rivals from up north. 76-65 as the Vikings inbound with Colley. Down low to Wilson. Wilson, pump, goes up, can't, can't get it to drop, and Evans comes down with the rebound. And now Z will bring it up for Seattle Pacific. Maui Z has been lights out in this second half from outside the arc. Penegar has it stolen by Wilson. Wilson going the other way, and he missed the dunk! Oh, Wilson had a free two points there after a nice steal and could not finish it at the rim. So Falcons the other way, under three minutes. Z now pulls it back out. Anderson... Tries to lob it over the top for Trace Evans, who lays it in. And Anderson, I'll tell you what, only seven points tonight, but he is sharing the ball 
when he gets the chance down to his fellow big man. As Penegar committed the foul on the other way down, sending Tijon Sane to the line to shoot some free throws for Western Washington. As Kyle Lutonen comes back in for the Falcons. Lutonen as well has had a couple important big shots from outside the arc today. Of the catch and shoot variety. So Sane at the line for Western. Gets the first of the one and one. And Isaac Morrow waits to see his teammate, Sane Connect, and he will replace him on the floor. So more aggressive press here now from Western. Luton and comes back. They get it into Moriarty. Anderson, Moriarty again, and he will break it across half court, spins, now gets it out and pulls it back to set up the offense with 18 on the shot clock, Maui Z now at the logo, Z with Wilson guarding him, Maui gets it down low to Evans, who will back down Vell, kicks it out, Lutonen catch and shoot, good night, Kyle Lutonen from the corner, and he's got 13. Morrow now. Wilson looked at it and he's fouled by Moriarty. Wow, oh, Kyle Luton in it. Absolute dagger. Sane returns for the Vikings. Wilson will be at the free throw line. Sh shooting one and one and first one clangs off front iron so it's an 81 67 lead for seattle pacific 150 to go moriarty now with johnson guarding him moriarty now drives all the way into the paint he will try to get it down low and it's a kicked ball that'll reset the shot clock as now sane comes back in for western washington Or maybe he will... Yep, there we go. Thought he might be waiting again, but he is back in. It's going to be Falcon Ball underneath. Moriarty to inbound. Finds Anderson. Luton in now. Luton in, finds Anderson. Elbow. Morrow reached in. And that is going to be team foul number seven. So Anderson heading to the line. Not an unfamiliar place for him this season. Best free throw shooter on this SPU Falcons team and most frequent visitor. By a large margin. Anderson gets it to drop. As the Georgia transfer, Jonathan Ned, checks back in. Anderson looking to complete this trip to the line. He will split it. Misses that one. Minute 30 to go. Johnson. Johnson shimmy shake now goes in and tries to get lay it up with the circus shot. He's fouled on the way up. Kai Johnson heads to the line with team foul number nine on the Falcons, and that's the fourth on Trace Evans, who has done a pretty good job staying out of foul trouble since his three early on. Johnson drops that one in, so it's an 82-69 lead for Seattle Pacific. Moriarty doubled. And he gets out of it. Western wanted the offensive foul. And then they do eventually call the reach-in against Jonathan Ned. 
once the Falcons had got down the floor. So back to the free throw line we go. And it's going to be Maui Z now, who, as we said, has come alive from outside the arc, as he, as he tends to do, with 14 points today. Looking to add to that at the free throw line, and that one clangs off the right iron and in. One sixteen to go. Falcons leading the Vikings, 83-69, to and it stays that way as he misses it. But Moriarty gets the rebound, and they call the kicked ball against the Vikings. So the Falcons will keep it. Well, excuse me, they do call the foul. They do call the foul against Tejon Sane. Tejon Sane, excuse me, his third. Back at the line, Owen Moriarty, who himself has had a pretty decent, has had a pretty strong, I should say, offensive second half particularly. That gets him to 15 on the afternoon. Well-balanced scoring for the Falcons on their way to what is looking like a comprehensive victory for the second time in just a couple days. As they lead 85-69 to with 113 to go. Sane now brings it up for Western Washington. Kai Johnson, they need this, and they get it from three. Johnson hits, and they will pick up the press. And there is the block against the Vikings. And it's Johnson. That's team foul number 10, and that's the third on Johnson. So Moriarty back to the line. Falcons getting familiar with the free throw line here in the late goings of this one. Sinks the first. Heading to the table for Western Washington. Liam Clark, number 21, a redshirt junior out of Port Angeles. Sane drives, steps into a three, and can't connect. Anderson the rebound. Under a minute here. Maui Z will bring it up and bounce pass to Moriarty over the timeline. Anderson. They'll use the clock here. Anderson backs into Wilson now and kicks it to Moriarty. Down low, Z, corner to Lutonen, who decides to burn a little more of that shot clock. 6-5, Anderson steps into a triple and connects! He puts this one to bed. Shaw Anderson with his first from downtown of this game. To the corner for Gary, who can't get it to fall. Rebound Sane, and he's going to get fouled on the way up. 89-72 is the Falcons' lead. 6.8 to go. As Jonas Latour returns. Sane sinks the first. And Latour will get Shy Anderson, who gets his ovation here. Not his most prolific point scoring evening, but it didn't matter as he was able to facilitate and be a huge presence offensively and defensively for the Falcons and then ices this contest with a three of his own and that will do it as the Seattle Pacific Falcons take down the Western Washington Vikings 89-74. to An offensive explosion in the second half by the homestanding Falcons and they will head into their next game a showdown at Western Oregon on January 18th with some momentum after two wins on the bounce here at Royal Brom Pavilion. So again they'll head to Western Oregon on January 18th that's a 730 
uh, tip off, and then they will travel to Lacey, Washington, to re to take on St. Martin's, a team receiving votes at thirteen and one overall. But today, it's all about the offensive effort to take down their rivals from Bellingham, eighty-nine to seventy-four. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in here on the SPU Sports live stream. I've been Sam Paul Barrett, and again, thank you for joining us on a frigid afternoon in Seattle. The action inside Royal Brom Pavilion was anything but ice cold as the Falcons take down the Vikings in this early evening matchup. We will see you next time, and as always... Go Falcons!